Today is Monday, the 29th of March. Today we are reflecting on Peter. Let's begin by praying together. Today, Lord God, as we turn our thoughts to Peter, as we listen to the account of his denial of Jesus, we can think of times when we have lived in fear of others and not in faith in you. Increase our faith in you. Supplement it with courage and steadfast hope from you, God. Forgive us when our fears lead to silence about you in our lives. Or like Peter, outwardly, openly distancing ourselves from you and denying our relationship with you. Jesus, look upon us with mercy as you looked across the courtyard and upon Peter. We pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Peter and Jesus. Luke chapter 22, verses 54 to 62. Then, seizing Jesus, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance. But when they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat down with them. A servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him. But he denied it. Woman, I don't know him, he said. A little later, someone else saw him and said, You also are one of them. Man, I am not, Peter replied. About an hour later, another asserted, Certainly this fellow is with him, for he's a Galilean. Peter replied, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Just as he was speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord had spoken to him. Before the cock crows today, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our uh, first day of our journey to uh, the cross once again in this Easter. How lovely it is to, to join with the whole presbytery and um, to think about those steps which Jesus uh, took. This week we're going to have the opportunity to look um, at that walk to the cross once again and onto the resurrection uh, through the eyes of the characters that surrounded the story and um, who had these different encounters uh, with Jesus. And today's uh, reading ended up with some really sad words. Um, and he went out and wept bitterly. These are, of course, applied to Peter. Peter had been there through it all, through thick and thin from the very start. Uh, he was part of this inner circle uh, that Jesus um, invested in and spoke to and taught and grew. Um, and yet, even um, as we approach the cross, uh, we can see um, how far off these disciples are and um, how much um, more growth is going to be needed. Uh, the cross and the resurrection of Jesus uh, will produce a very different crop in the lives of all of these disciples, and Peter is no exception to that. So I've got a few questions for you today arising out of the reading. Peter is standing there in the courtyard. Uh, Jesus, the trial of Jesus is beginning, and in that moment, uh, we see him in all his uh, humanity. Um, there are parts of his character which are good, and there are parts of his character which are deeply flawed. Um, so perhaps if you could spend a few minutes and just 
Uh, think about those parts of his character which are good and those which are flawed and um, and see how that might um, influence your impression of Peter in this moment. The second question involves those same traits, the positives and the negatives. After the resurrection, we're going to see Peter in a very different light. Uh, we're going to see his abilities and his flaws affected and changed. So try to compare and contrast just for a moment this picture of Peter uh, from the high priest courtyard to the Peter we see um, in the book of Acts, Acts chapters one and two, Peter standing up and speaking and just see how he is transformed um, by Jesus' sacrifice and Jesus' resurrection, how his flaws are affected, um, but also how the positive parts of his character are also affected. And finally, as a little bridge into this moment, <clears throat> we're going to be meeting two betrayals of Jesus, Peter and then Judas. Peter's betrayal um, was stark and it was horrible. He denied Jesus three times and then the cock crowed. That image of Jesus looking at Peter uh, would chill all of us to the bone. But there was something different um, in the aftermath of Peter's betrayal and um, something which set it very apart from Judas's. So perhaps you'd like to have a little think um, about what happened in the aftermath of Peter's betrayal, which set it aside and which allowed then ultimately something very positive um, to come about. We truly hope that you have um, an encounter with the risen Lord uh, this Easter once again. And it is a privilege for us to walk together as a presbytery, as brothers and sisters um, of faith, uh, once again towards the cross and the resurrection. Amen. Yeah.